you know, there was a guy that was sending me uh, Western Union grams, like $200 a week for food. Men would send me pizzas. So I knew that, you know, if I ate on camera, I would get more money. And it was my thing. It was like, that's what she does. And it was, I catered to that fetish. Dev, unlock. Oh, I got it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> when I was five years old, I started gaining weight, picked on horribly, 10 or 11 after my mom passed away. My stepmother came into the picture and it was very important for her that I lose weight. So she took me to the doctor and I was on diet pills from 10 to 18. I was like, oh, you can't be fat. <laughs> this is not gonna happen. Not into the wine. I like playing chandeliers and bells. <laughs> okay, Dev, I wanna, we need to find uh, lunch meat and avocado, so let's find them. I was caught up in the whole trend, you know, I need to be thinner, I need to be thinner. The, the whole drug scene, it was like, hey, you know, you don't see people on drugs fat, so let me try that for a little bit. But all it did was make me clean my house real fast. I didn't lose any weight. <laughs> So I've, I've tried everything that you can possibly imagine. Excuse me, sir. Where are your avocados? Avocado? Yeah. Would you like two? Um, oh. Okay, Jacqueline, put this in your bucket. You know, the cabbage diet and this diet and rice diet didn't work. So I was trying everything. I've tried, you know, everything. But it just seemed to make me, I will lose weight and gain more back. Lose weight, gain more back. <laughs> I met Devin's dad and he would bring home steak and lobster and baked potatoes and so I started eating but then I started gaining weight. He seemed to be okay with it and I thought, you know what, good, I don't have to work at this anymore. So I actually went from like 350 to 600 pounds in nine years. He just like all of a sudden one day left us and it was like, oh. <laughs> Um, okay, I can't move. <laughs> wow, I can't get out. Because, you know, strollers sometimes won't go through this one. Yeah, I didn't even think about it. Might have to go yeah, we'll. around, okay. Baby, honey, you don't have to do that, sweetie. Mommy can do it, honey. Okay, baby. Just let go of the wheels, okay? It's okay, babe. But for the most part, I thought being bigger was always beautiful. In my eyes, it was just everybody else I was changing for. After that, I eventually discovered the online community. all these men that like big women and they had a chat room. I couldn't even keep up with the amount of people trying to talk to me. And I was like, wow, there's a whole bunch of men out here that love big women and there was a whole fetish around gaining. And I thought, well, I'm good at that. All these guys had money. <laughs> so they would fly me out, send me out, put me up, meeting all these guys all over the country. <laughs> I made a trip out to New Jersey to see him, and I kind of had a package I brought back, which was Jacqueline. <laughs> so I moved to New Jersey, and he was married at the time, 
and he said that as soon as I moved to New Jersey, he was going to he was going to leave his wife. Um, but as our relationship progressed, he said, "Why don't you be a web model?" So he kind of talked me into it. In the fat world, big community, there's a few fetishes that men really get into with big women. One is squashing and one is eating. So I knew that, you know, if I ate on camera and ate large amounts, which wasn't hard for me to do, that if I made the videos that it, I would get more money. So along with my pictures, me posing in bikinis, I would also post videos of me eating ho-hos or pu pumpkin pies, just whatever. Whenever I'd eat, sometimes Philip would just capture it on video. If we go to a buffet, sometimes he'd just let the camera roll and we'd put up a 15 minute video or <laughs> you would just go on, get a membership, the unlimited videos for, I think it was like $14 a month. And did you have a lot of followers? Well, I'll just say that there's, you know, one point thousands of subscribers. So just add that times 14. <laughs> Um, I would probably say I've made about probably about 40 videos, spend probably five to seven hours a day answering fan mail, answering hate mail. You know, where can I send pizza? Can I have your address? Where can I give you this? What do you need? Um, can I send you a box? One guy sent me 72 Hershey bars. You know, one guy from Germany, he spent like $200, like send me like $200 worth of sushi. He would call in and give him his credit card, have him delivered to me. And then fans just saying, oh, I love you. I want to marry you. Tell me about how it progressed. Uh, a UK magazine got a hold of me and wanted to know if I would do an interview with them about being a big woman, being confident. I made a comment and I said, I wouldn't mind. They said, you like being big. And I said, I, I like being big. I'm comfortable with it. I don't care if I'd even be a thousand pounds. So when the story came out, that I wanted to be a thousand pounds, all of a sudden this boom. The media just took my took me and made me what they wanted me to be. A lot of people had a lot to say about it. Death threats and you know, just you're psychotic and people called them children's services. <laughs> they actually called children's services to have my ch children taken away and all the misconceptions, that was very hard. My life was just spiraling out of control. It was just basically me and the kids sitting in the woods doing nothing for a long time. So I had a sedentary lifestyle because I was kind of forced into it. And he was still married and he never divorced his wife. I wanted more. I had another vision for my life, not this vision. And uh, Philip went to work and I packed all the stuff into a U-Haul and left. Dev, can you get my wheelchair? It's lit. I was in Jersey, I didn't know anybody. I was tired of creating this fantasy for somebody with no gain to me except for gain on pounds, which made me more immobile. I was tired of it. We just actually moved to Barberton uh, three weeks ago where sane people are, nothing against Jersey. <laughs> <No>. <laughs>
Isn't bison supposed to be better than beef? It's leaner. Leaner? I really need like a whole system. I need a village to help me and that costs money. And I don't have the income coming in like I did when I was doing the, you know, the internet. So I'm on my own. kind of makes me feel like, wow, you know, you were there when you wanted me to be immobile and you were all for it, giving me money and everything. And now that I want to change my life, it's like, you're not doing anything to please me, so sorry. And the minute I left, I completely stopped. I mean, it wasn't like even a, I don't know, should I stop it or should I not? As soon as I left, it was over with and up went my, my blog and changed everything. Immediately we took all those pictures down and just put up pictures of family, turned it into a blog, turned it into me, you know, wanting to lose weight. People paid to help me gain weight and now it's like, can somebody help me lose weight? <laughs> I'm just basically in the public eye now. 